All right, today we're gonna bring an OBD2 uh, reader. This is for vehicles, all right? And this is for uh, to release any kind of messages you have on their car, or maybe you have some information that you don't know of your car repairs, or if you wanna save yourself some money on taking it to repairs, this is a perfect way. Now, the system has the prongs that you need to connect, right? They're right here, has the ODBC connection to an actual it's like a super vga connection points now right now you do have a memory card here in one slot here that saves all your information here now they do give you usb here that you are required if you want to transfer some information over to your computer you can do that so right now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and activate the system uh in order to make all the functions work you are going to require to turn on your car so right now out of the box the only thing that you can get out is the VIN number um battery information and so forth but if you want more information you're gonna have to require to turn on the car so it's connected right here if you guys can see it it's it's kind of hard to see because it's a little dark in this area but what we want to do i'm going to show you the light up i'm going to light it up if you guys can see the connections right here underneath my car it's on the side of it right so you just got to find it it could be underneath it in the bottom but in more, more normally some new cars have like up higher so you could plug other things all right we got to connect it it came up automatically but in order to run the diagnostics properly you got to turn on the car so we're gonna wait to turn on the car and we're gonna do a diagnostics. This is gonna give, so this is gonna tell us if we have any issues in the car. If you're gonna buy a car, take one of these with you. Um, it will tell you a lot of different things that you don't know that the car might not have, so, or has, all right? So we're gonna go diagnostics. Uh, what I wanna do, hit this button here. We're gonna do a engine diagnostics. And it's gonna run the process. It, 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 it failed on one, all right? And if you guys can see, it tells you all this information. If you're not familiar with it, there's a there's a information that you can actually go into it and find the actual codes itself. So right now, status, read list complete, read codes. When you go to read codes, it's gonna read a couple of codes right now, hints. This vehicle has no faults at codes, so, which is a good thing. So when you're buying a car, this is going to tell you if something's wrong with the vehicle, right? Don't worry about if it failed or something missed. Uh, normally, it'll come out here in the front. It'll tell you exactly what it, it needs, all right? So hit OK to save or exit. We're going to hit OK to save because we want to keep confirm this. I'm going to go back. And then erase codes. Uh, uh, we have a lot of options here that you can do. You can even uh, test the sensors, like testing the sensors. Sensor 1, bank 1. And this vehicle does not have this kind of support, which is okay. Sensor two, let's see what happens. Low voltage sensor, let's try the low voltage. And right here is the low voltage sensor. It's doing a test. We're gonna go back to exit. High, tells you the maximum. Go back, rich lean sensor time. All this information you might not be familiar, but if you're a mechanic, uh, there's a code book that they understand all this stuff and this is something that you want to maybe get familiar before you're buying a car Take this uh, um, with you. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there we go Now we're gonna do a scan complete scan of the car What kind of car do you have you have to just find your brand, right? Uh, we have different brands here and it's gonna take a bit right now And then it says attention if you have me at the, any problems Okay, please send the following backup. Okay hit okay and that's it all right all right we're gonna test another car out because this one actually is giving us issues and if you guys can see we do have the connection right here in this front here Just, all right we turn on a different car this is actually a Lincoln car and I wanted to run a diagnostics on and it tells you it's on right now so we're gonna go ahead and run a diagnostics on the actual engine um, want to make sure that we don't have any messages we just took it to a service but we feel like something's off, all right? So that's why I wanted to make sure. Ignition sparks, let me see. So, so it seems like everything's okay in here. Data stream, okay. Reading, okay. Uh, read codes, okay. Sensor test, onboard monitoring, vehicle information. Vehicle information is gonna ask you the VIN number and everything, so I'm not gonna show you guys that information. Now we're gonna do a scan completely. Now let's go back in there and do the finishing touch on this one. Look at this. Gives you a graphic of the actual vehicle. The loads, the shifts, and so forth. This is very... It uh, gives you a more down data on on 
the actual vehicle while it's running which is very useful and accurate for those that are racers and have issues with their car or, or have a high engine and expect more from their car this is what they they would have to need so very interesting I'm gonna get out of here all right this is pretty much it the whole details I want you could review here your data it freezes the data it stores the data and then you could download from your computer from the USB so micro USB so very simple easy to use I hope you guys enjoy the video